In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my sisters and brothers, may God's peace, grace, and love be with you all. And I'm going to start with a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Sooner or later, all the people of the world will have to discover a way to live together in peace. Um, Jesus is sometimes given and called by the title Prince of Peace. He frequently in the Gospels wishes Shalom, which is Jewish for peace, uh, to his disciples and, and to others. And uh, Jesus also taught, uh, seek and you shall find. As we seek and, and grope for God in our lives, inevitably we must also seek for peace. And today's uh, theme really is uh, questing for peace. Let us pray. Gracious God, I want to be on a quest for peace in my heart and to know ways that I can share with others the being, building, and preaching of peace by my words and actions. I trust that you will guide me and I ask for your guidance from you. I love you, God, and I want always to please you. Amen. The following is an excerpt from uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, Nobel uh, Peace Prize lecture. He says this, I would like to use this lofty and historic platform to discuss what ha appears to me to be the most pressing problem confronting humankind today. Modern people have brought this whole world to an awe-inspiring threshold of the future. They have reached new and astonishing peaks of scientific success. They have produced machines that think and instruments that peer into the unfathomable ranges, ranges of interstellar space. They have built gigantic bridges to span the seas and gargantuan buildings to kiss the skies. Their airplanes and spaceships have dwarfed distance, placed time in chains, and carved highways through the stratosphere. This is a dazzling picture of modern people's scientific and technological progress. Yet in spite of these spectacular strides in science and technology and still unlimited ones to come, something basic is missing. There is a sort of poverty of the spirit which stands in glaring contrast to our scientific and technological abundance. The richer we have become materially, the poorer we have become morally and spiritually. We have learned to fly the air like birds and swim the sea like fish, but we have not learned the simple art of living as brothers and sisters. Every human being lives in two realms, the internal and the external. Our problem today is that we've allowed the internal to become lost in the external. We have allowed the means by which we live to outdistance the end for which we live. This is the serious predicament, the deep and haunting problem confr confronting uh, modern humankind today. The reflection on this is uh, Martin Luther King speaks to the heart of each one of us. Our outward actions must evolve from our inner spirit and become a blessing for all people. It seems that in the modern world, and I would also add myself, uh, because ph philosophers tell us we're now in a postmodern world, that in this uh, modern or postmodern world, progress is made, but it, it, it is progress without a heart. What does it profit us to gain the whole world and yet suffer the loss of our soul? Uh, that's Matthew 16, verse 26. Uh, here are some questions for reflections. What did MLK mean when he said, the richer we have become materially, the poorer we have become morally and spiritually? MLK was always seeking peace and justice in his ministry. How are these two concepts related? What is our quest for peace? How do you seek and search for peace in your life?
let us offer up now some prayers and the response to each of our petitions is, God, hear us. Holy Spirit of God, awaken me to your presence within me and help me to know your way of peace. We pray, God, hear us. Holy Spirit of God, help me to be a bright beacon of peace to all people around me. We pray, God, hear us. Holy Spirit of God, help me to work with others to find peace and to live in peace. We pray, God, hear us. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, teach me to trust in you so that when the unexpected storms of life come, I will expect peace in the midst of these storms, knowing that you are near and that you hear my cries. You are with me and for me, and never let me forget that. Amen. May God, Creator, bless us. May God, Redeemer, heal us, and the Holy Spirit fill us with peace. My sisters and brothers, I wish you peace um, with the words that the one word that Jesus would have used for peace in his uh, Jewish uh, language, and that is uh, shalom. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.